Hi, it's Rich Tarani in the TMC Newsroom, and today I'm really excited to bring you John Cheer with Kyocera. John, how are you? Doing well, thank you. It's been a great show. Good, good. We're here at the CTIA Wireless event in Las Vegas. It's a wrap-up of the event. In fact, the show's over in a few minutes, and uh, we're very excited to, to have the honor of your presence in our little newsroom here. It's my pleasure. It's been a fun show for us. We've had some exciting announcements, and the response has been fantastic. It's been excellent. So tell me more about that. Well, we've actually done a couple of things at the show. We have some news on the corporate side. We have a little bit of news on the product side as well. Uh, from a corporate standpoint, Kyocera has reorganized its global wireless business, and it's, it's creating some great situations for carriers and for consumers. In a nutshell, what we've done, Kyocera had a mobile business in Japan uh, that started about 20 years ago. Uh, also in 2000 came to North America in the purchase of Qualcomm's consumer handset business and that created a North American beachhead for the wireless business. One year ago Kyocera also purchased Sanyo's mobile handset group globally. And so what that did was it created a situation where we almost had parallel businesses operating globally. So what we've done here at the show is we've made an announcement around a global reorganization that has created an integrated business unit from the Sanyo and Kyocera business properties. In North America, we have a new company called Kyocera Communications Incorporated that encompasses sales, marketing, service, customer engineering in the carrier labs, for example. A unified presence between those two brands will continue to sell Kyocera and Sanyo branded product. Uh, but we've got a consolidated team now. Let's us uh, demonstrate a consolidated portfolio of products with both brands represented and eliminate some of the duplicated functions, consumer research and things like that. So it's a much more efficient organization on the other side of the house from engineering. Uh, we have consolidated our global engineering teams from San Diego, uh, from Yokohama, which is the Kyocera product line headquarters where they, head, they lead the wireless business, and from Daito, which was uh, the area in Japan where the Sanyo engineering efforts were located. All of those now into a global engineering team uh, that is, again, much more efficient, uh, real pulse on the leading edge technologies coming out of that part of the world, and doing a nice job of delivering the best product portfolio we've ever had. Now, why should wireless carriers give you a call in this competitive landscape? What, what separates you? Well, we actually are now blending the strengths of two really well-established brands in this business. If you want to look from a reputation standpoint, especially in North America, Kyocera has done a very nice job in the regional carriers, prepaid carriers, lower cost devices uh, more typically in recent years. Sanyo, on the other hand, has done a very robust business in, uh, in Sprint, Bell Mobility in Canada, and mo has more of a reputation of the higher end products, mid to high tier products. And so by bringing those two things together, our product portfolio, what we're hearing from our customers in meetings here at the show is that they've never seen a more robust, diverse product portfolio from us. These are products that we're taking the best engineering from two of the leading companies in the world, uh, with Kyocera and Sanyo. Uh, we have thousands of engineers with thousands of years of experience that are developing some fantastic new products. You didn't by any chance bring any, did you? I did, actually. You did? We're, we're announcing three new products at the Great. show. Let me grab. This is, I'll kind of work my way up the ladder. Okay. This is a new phone. We call this the Kyocera Laylo, L-A-Y-L-O. It's the Laylo M1400. This is really a low-cost, very affordable a CDMA slider device. It's a category that Kyocera created in North America back in 2003. We brought the first CDMA slider phone to the North American market. Now we're coming back to that with a phone that from a design standpoint has some very nice touches. You can see the nice big display, 2.2 inch display, has a vanity mirror on the yeah, back. Yeah, I saw that. It's, that's really cool, a vanity mirror. I don't know if you, if you get a shot of that. Look at that. And it's an actual mirror, not just reflective yeah. tape like, uh, like some products have had out there. It's a very nice big mirror. And the thing that I love most about this phone, for a slider, the, the typical complaint about sliders is in the keypad being very flat and hard to navigate. These keys have very nice tactile feedback, nice raised bumps to them. You can operate them without even looking at them. Sure. So a very robust feature set at that lower price tier. Uh, the show's closing around us right now, but I can tell you this product is a product that I'd love to carry as a voice-centric user, sure. really interested in making a call. So that's on the lower end of what we're doing. Sure. We have two more products. That Show me, please. Yeah. 
Two more. Plan to join us next year, March 23rd. The so we have two products that fill a newer space that we initiated in 2006, and that is a low-cost QWERTY texting device. So full keypad, but we're talking about sub hundred dollar price points. You compare wow. that to smartphones, for example, in three, four, five hundred sure, dollars, sure. you're getting a lot of that functionality in a device like this, which slides open horizontally to create a, a very robust texting device. You can do some email on the phone as well. Has full music support with expandable memory, micro SD cards up to eight gigabytes. And what we're finding, this is our third generation phone in this category. We're finding that there's a real sweet spot, especially given the economy, uh, for this lower cost device that lets people really focus on the text messaging, music, and calls. So that is the Kyocera M2000, also known as good to go G2GO. And this is a device that will be launching with Virgin Mobile uh, just in a couple of days now, on April 6th, at a $99 price point, which for a prepaid uh, oriented carrier like Virgin Mobile is a very attractive price point. Some nice features to the phone as far as usability goes. One that I really love, it's got an accelerometer in it, meaning that when the phone's vertical like this, the display is vertical as well. As soon as you turn the phone on its side, you'll get the, the display will, will orient uh, to landscape. Now, many of the HTC devices require you to actually open the screen. Is yours similar? Will you have to open it to well, you, open you it You will up? open it. Once it is open, it will continue to change for you oh, on wow, the Oh, wow, that's great. Okay. And, but there's something even better that I love about this, and that is if you're going to make a phone call and you're holding the phone vertically like this, when you slide it open, it's hard to see in this lighting, but the only backlighting that comes on is behind the number keys. Oh, wow. And they default to be number keys. You can actually see the numbers yeah. coming up there. However, if you're doing text messaging and you have the phone and you open it horizontally, you get that horizontal display and the Exhibitors. entire keypad backlights and those same buttons default to letters. Just makes it a lot more convenient. These are some of the usability things that we've learned in three generations of doing it. Very smart. That's the second product. I want to make sure to show you the last one as well. Now, I, do I have to give these back? I don't know. I, I guess they're demos. All right. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I need this one to finish the show the last couple seconds. I understand. The last product. This is a fantastic new product from our Sanyo product line. Kyocera purchased the handset division from Sanyo a year ago. This is called the Sanyo SCP 2700. You can see there are two color versions, the blue and the pink. We anticipate the blue going to the men, pink going to the women, but who knows? In any case, any comments I would make would not be politically correct. I'm so going to stay I'll away from it, too. Yes. Let's just say we give people choice. <laughs> so this is a, another very low-cost QWERTY texting-centric device. Uh, Sprint has announced that they will start selling this on May 10th at a $29.99 price point. Oh, my God. Which, if you would have told me a year ago you could get a full QWERTY device for $30, I would have said you were crazy. So this is a phone that does full text messaging, has some very neat features like a direct-to-text messaging button. You hit that one button, you're into a new text yeah, message. Yeah, I see that text. You have a, a dedicated emoticon key for your younger users who like their smiley faces on their text messages. Uh, you also have some neat features in here for parents, for example. There's a restrict and lock feature that parents can give this to a child and restrict the dialing in and out to certain numbers. Say, call the parents, call the aunts, call the uncles, the in-laws, whatever it might be. You can restrict and lock it uh, for those younger users. Uh, those younger users will also appreciate very simple uploading to social networking sites like a Facebook, like a Twitter. There's integration with those? Uh, there is. It's, it's one touch uploading to those social networking sites. Uh, it's interesting. There's another demographic, too, that's tested incredibly well for this phone. 50 to 64-year-olds. This is a demographic that I like to call reluctant texters. They're being pulled into this texting generation by their kids. We've got research that shows about 75% of their text messages are to and from their children. And so what's happening is their children are making them get into texting. Some of them are going to want a real high-end smartphone type device. But for the ones that really see a cell phone as a phone to make phone calls, now they can get the added benefit of being able to text with their kids at a $29 price point. It's going to be an incredible product for that demographic as well. And so what I like about this, I'll tell you right now uh, to the viewers, what I really like about this device is the keyboard is a little small. Obviously, a lot of these, these devices which fit in your pocket and, and are featherweight are small. 
uh, at $29 for it to be this thin, I mean, it's a pretty good thinness level for, for $29. It's impressive. And the keyboard, although it's small, it's not that bad to type with if you use maybe your fingernails. And I've got the fattest thumbs in the business, <laughs> and I, I still am able to. Uh, I'm still able to type. So I think uh, um, a person that's got uh, more uh, text-friendly hands will, will have an easier time with this device and probably really liking it. $29, you can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. This is uh, the first ever QWERTY device from the Sanyo product line. Sure. And at a $29 price point, I haven't seen a lower cost And, and I've just got to make one other comment. The backspace key, there's a backspace key that's, that's up here and it's silver. And at the same time, there's uh, emoticons that are on the screen that are built in. So really cool device and I uh, think it's, it's great. No, we think it's going to do really well for Sprint this year. We're very excited about this product. So the Kyocera and Sanyo phones that we're announcing at the show, uh, tremendous response, and we look forward to having another great lineup of phones for the rest of the year as well. Thanks. We've been speaking with John Cheer with Kyocera. My name is Rich Tarani in the TMC Newsroom. Thank you so much for watching.